Hey, I'm Mark. Welcome to the garage. Today we're going to cover changing out the pads in both the front and the rear calipers on the bike. Use this information at your own risk. I assume no liability. It's almost impossible to see in here uh, when the pad is is worn down. Now, you're supposed to change it. This level is eighths of inches, right? You're supposed to change it when it gets below an eighth of an inch, right? And some people push it down to about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, but that's kind of your general amount of brake pad that once it starts going below that eighth of an inch, you want to start changing it. So. In this case, the two bolts that hold the caliper onto the caliper bracket, one of them is exposed here and it takes a uh, 7 30 second wrench, Allen wrench. One of them is exposed here, right? The other one is sort of hidden in between, the underneath or just right there, if you follow my Allen head, Allen wrench. Okay, so it's very hard to get to. It's much easier, right, if you take off this license plate bracket. To do that, you need a three-quarter inch wrench. And as you turn this bolt back here, let's go ahead and point to it, to the license plate bracket, the license plate itself will want to move with it. So you're going to have to, as you turn the one side of the wrench, you have to hold this so that you turn counterclockwise, obviously, and then and hold this up so it doesn't move. Once we loosen this up, you see this wire here that actually goes through the frame here that's welded on. So you're not going to be able to disconnect this wire here. Uh, but to support this, just fold up something and just so you don't strain the wire itself. And just kind of find a resting place where we can support the license plate bracket, I hate this stupid thing by the way, and then take off the caliper bolts. Again, this is a 732nd wrench. And see this bolt right here is much easier now to take out having removed the license plate bracket that was in the way. So take that out. And it's very important that you pay attention to the, the washers that have come out, okay, so here we have one washer on this side, and I make sure that this is the upper bolt, and then on this one, also I wanna make sure that I get this right. Now there's also could be one or more washers on the inside, if you look where the, uh, where the caliper meets the bracket, there could be one or more washers in here too. And it's very important that you keep track of how many washers are on each side because that affects the alignment of the caliper to the rotor. On this side, you see this little cotter pin here. We're gonna have to kind of pry that out because this post goes actually through the pads. See the pad moving? You're not going to be able to get that out until you get this cotter pin out. So hold this. Out here. Okay. So now that we've pulled out our cotter pin, this other pin that goes to the middle can come out as well. All right, just go ahead and push that out, okay. This is an anti-rattle spring, and I like to replace this as well. Maybe not each, t each time I change it. Uh, this looks to be in decent condition, so maybe I won't replace this in this time. But these are, your, these are your pads here. And as we push them out, you'll see that they're down in there probably down to that eighth of an inch right there. So, because we're already here, 
Gonna go ahead and put in some fresh pads. Now, when you do that, just remember, I'm gonna support this here. When you do put the fresh pads in, just remember something that the, uh, the new pads are gonna be thicker than the old pads. So as you can see here, let's compare a new one with an old one, okay? And you see it's got more thickness to it there, right? So what we're gonna do is we wanna push back these pistons. So remember I said these two, these two pistons that come out, right? The pressure and the fluid will force these out further. So now the pads are squeezing the rotor like this, but now if you have increased pads, you won't be able to slide this back onto the rotor. So you have to push the pistons themselves back, all right? Sometimes you can do it by hand. You should clean up this area with a brake cleaner. So spray that in there. Those pistons, will, when they don't stay back, and you're not gonna be able to force them back and keep them back long enough to put the pad in, and then the, uh, that center rod and, and then the anti-rattle springs. So you have to relieve the pressure that's pushing that pistons out at the, uh, at the fluid reservoir. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosen the cap of this fluid reservoir here. And this is right by the pedal. Just to kind of relieve that pressure. So any of that pressure that wants to push the pistons back out is basically gonna go out through here, through the top here. Got a little bit of a separation on our cotter pin. And for me personally, this is the time before I put the caliper back on, I like to clean it. Our anti-rattle spring in there, we got our cotter pin in there with the post that goes through here. Let's go ahead and uh, put her back on there. So just ease this back in and you're gonna to have to manually separate the pads out so that they can get across this rotor here. And it's the exact same principle as the back, but the front will actually give you a clearer picture. Again, make sure you know which was the top, right? And any washers that may be coming out of there, right? So this is my front washer. So I put that next to the top and this is the bottom. I already see a washer between there also. Okay. So this is my bottom nut. And this is my bottom washer. So they each have a washer in the beginning and the end. And here, you'll see that those pads have a decent amount of life left. I mean, they're, they're, they're a good eighth of an inch there. So I'm not gonna actually replace this. Um, at this point, I would clean this caliper, maybe use this as an opportunity to clean the front wheel a little bit better, uh, but I'm not gonna actually replace these. But the same principle, um, what you would do in the back, you would take out this pin here, right? Take out this um, anti-rattle spring. The pads just push out like so. Replace the, uh, you know, clean it with brake cleaner push the pistons back, and if you need to uh, undo the, uh, the reservoir to relieve some pressure, put the new pads in, put this post through the first pad, the anti-rattle spring, and then the next pad, and then slip them back onto this rotor like so. And then make sure you have your washers. in place and then put back your bolts.